Thanks, Green. Um, just a first question. Has the president read the entire report, and when was he given the, the report? Did, did he review it when his lawyers did the privilege review? Um, and do you have any just context on when he himself found the, the findings of it? Uh, we received the report yesterday uh, from the Justice Department and formally like present, you know, sending it over. Um, obviously, the president's lawyers were, were doing the privilege review that we disclosed to everybody was happening and disclosed when we had concluded it. Um, and so I think, uh, you know, uh, they were, you know, they, they had briefed him on, uh, on, the, on the material as the client, you know, as is typical in a, in a legal case. Um, and then we received the full report yesterday. You know, the president's been pretty busy. I'm not sure he's read 400 pages. I'm not sure how many, you know, folks in this room have read all 400 pages of it, but he certainly is familiar with the contents of the report. Just one quick follow-up. The president was animated last night, uh, rejecting the idea that he did not remember when his son died. Can you provide a little bit more context about, was he directly asked in the interview by the special counsel for the dates? Was it part of a broader conversation? I just think some additional context to understand what is in that report um, might be helpful. Yeah, I think, I mean, the president was pretty clear last night, and I think that the American people have heard from him for years about the pain and the suffering that they went through when Bo passed away um, and the gravity of that. And I think to suggest that he couldn't remember when his son died is really out of bounds. Um, you know, the conversations in the, in the interview back and forth, you know, he's being asked about, you know, file folders from a basement and how did they get there and what is that and what were you doing around that time and things of that nature. I don't want to, but just to be very careful, I don't want to get into specific you know, things while it's still in a classification process. But, you know, it is safe to say that, of course, the president knows when his son died. So do you have any sense of why the special counsel would write explicitly in the report that the president did not, was unable to recall when his son died? Uh, you'd have to ask the special counsel why he chose to include That's that. Right. Thanks, Green. Thanks, Ian.